Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I got up today talking to the Lord, having my coffee, and never mind me scratching my face. <laughs> I, I can't stop it. If I itch, I got to scratch it. <laughs> That's just all there is to it. But you know what? <laughs> We're fixing to be locked down and probably won't get any more visitors ourselves. <laughs> anyway, I'm not talking about COVID-19. We're all going to have faith and believe in Psalm 91. And I got to talking to the Lord about that and, and many things like that. And I was sitting here in my chair right now, currently covered in red. I'm not fixing to be pink because <laughs> winter is about over. Anyway, I have a sign up there that I made, <clears throat> excuse me, a while back. And it says, cast your cares upon him. Let's see. It's second. I can't even read that. I can't. I can't, I can't read <laughs> the reference. Okay, I'll find it real quick. In case anybody wants to make their own sign. Because that really helped me. It reminded me. Okay, I need Google. That's the way I go. Cast your cares. Well, this says on me. Okay. Proverbs. No, it's uh, here. It is First Peter five seven. This is the one, but it's worded different. Um, let's see. Cast your cares. Okay, the Berean Bible Study has it the way I want. Cast all. Well, no, it says um, cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Well. That's this one says, Give all your worries and cares to God, for He cares about you. Okay, let's see what the King, where's the King James? Casting all your care upon Him, for He careth for you. Okay, it reminded me of a sermon that I was privileged to hear the very first time I visited. A church that I ended up joining later when we moved to Birmingham. Anyway, the pastor, I will never forget it. That's when my grandson was being, uh, what do they call it, uh, dedicated to the Lord. I believe it's what they call it. They don't pour no water on their head. That's, that's uh, those other, you can't baptize a baby. They don't know what they're doing. You can dedicate a baby to the Lord. He anoints them. He, uh, there was a whole line of them. <laughs> My grandson was like three months old. Because they were waiting for a whole bunch of women to have their babies before they did this. Because our pastor would make a real big deal of it. I mean, he would lecture those parents about how to bring up their children the way they should go. And he'd give them all a Bible. Uh, hold on. Like this, all the parents got a little Bible for their babies to read. The fathers were the father gave them to the fathers, and they were instructed to read this to their babies. And these are just New Testament, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they're just New Testament, but anyway, it was. They didn't have to read it out of this book, obviously, but this was a keepsake for the child. And also, they got a silver spoon. And the mothers were instructed on how they were, t they used to chew their food and then spit it out, put it on a spoon, and feed it to the baby. Because way back in the days of Jesus. In olden days, they didn't have baby food. They didn't have blenders. So, they had to chew the baby's food before he had teeth or enough teeth and 
that's why you see these little baby spoons. Okay, so every mama got a spoon. Anyway, it was a real big deal. So they wanted to wait until all of these mothers had their babies and then do them all at one time. Uh, Lori had to wait. And then my, so my grandson was the biggest baby up there. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. The sermon he gave that day was on that scripture. Casting all your cares upon him because he cares for you. And he brought, our pastor loved visual aids. Okay, he always brought something to demonstrate a part of his sermon. So that day he brought a fly fishing rod. And he said, some of you may not be familiar with fly fishing. It's not the kind with a rod and reel. You just get a pole with a string on it. I don't know how you got the fish back in. I don't remember what he said about that. But he said, just like when you're casting your, your um, bait, whatever he called it, he would lean it back. And, of course, he had nobody in the way. <laughs> and he said, you cast your cares and he, he just said that several times you just cast your cares and I got to thinking well eventually you got to get that back and I said you know Lord I don't need a pole I don't need a string I just got to Take my cares, and I'm going to cast my cares upon you, for you care for me, and I don't want to reel them back in. You keep them, and you deal with them for me, because you love me. So let's all remember to do that. And I and then I went to open my Bible, and I think I'm going to make it's separate because this is it's not that long but i have a sermon <laughs> a little bible reading with a little uh you know how i asked the holy spirit to help me add to it if he wants me to you know and not to if he don't want me to <laughs> so i try my best to you know listen for anything he wants me to add so i'm going to end this one here and be right back with a sermon from romans okay i i love you all i pray blessings upon you that your health will stay where it is i know many of you have chronic conditions so you need to be basically quarantining yourself in place especially if you're in a state that has live cases. They're about they're testing sixty four more people. I guess because they were exposed to the six that they test the ones that tested positive in our state. There's six of them, and now they're testing. I guess must be the closest family members. Anyway, the funniest thing happened. Let me add this to this one. I have. Well, I now have this this thing called a smartphone, which now that I got a factory reset and I have to re-add all my, <laughs> oh, what do you call them, contacts. Okay, I had it turned off. I had signed up last night for alerts on anything the state puts out on the COVID-19. Okay, that's something they probably have in all states. Well, anyway, it was turned off. So nobody could message me in the middle of the night. Well, this thing went off in the middle of the night. And I was like, what? Who's messaging me? Wait a minute. Isn't my phone turned off? And I, I looked on it, and I was like, Trying to just, you press it a little bit and it'll come on if the phone's set on. You know how it is. You got to press it longer to turn it on. 
Well, it didn't come on, so I'm like, yeah, it's turned off, you know, and I'm sleepy and everything, and I'm like, how did that noise come through my phone? And I figured in the morning I was thinking about it, saying, Lord, were you trying to wake me up or what? You know, and I thought, you don't usually use a phone. I said, if you wanted to give me a message, you're going to have to talk to me, okay? <laughs> I said, I just talk to him like, you know, that's how it is when you're intimate with the Lord. You don't always have to feel like you have to get down on your knees, which I could wish I could do that. I mean, I could, but to actually do very a uh, length of praying, I would not be able to get back up very easily. So anyway, let me end this here. Let me plead the blood of Jesus over Myself, my computer, my internet connection, and each and every single one of you. I plead the blood of Jesus over you. Anybody who sees this and your, your devices, whatever you connect with, and over your internet connection so we can stay connected until we're out of here. And, um, boy, um... Things are getting weird. We do need to keep up with what's going on. I just listened quickly to half of uh, Max, the bounty hunter. Uh, his channel is, um, oh, let me pull it up. Uh... I guess I have to go to my channel. I gotta come out of comments. I was trying to answer some comments, but I got interrupted. I forget why. Uh, <laughs> anyway, it's all right. I'm going to history just in case you want to hear this. Quarantine lockdown is the title. Minister for Jesus. Um, I only listened to half of it, so. I may go finish it later, but I wanted to get to the Lord, you know, I was praying and opened my Bible. I said, Lord, do you want me to stay in the book of Revelation? That's what I've been studying. I said, or do you want me to bring something else? And I, I really didn't get, I didn't hear anything, but I just felt compelled to just open my Bible and get something else because I'm still trying to figure out the book of Revelations for my own self. I mean the book of Revelation. Okay, so if you want to go to Minister for Jesus, quarantine lockdown, okay, and roundups. I got to finish listening to that, but I want to do this other on Romans first. So I'll let you go. I'll be right back. Okay. Bye for now.